Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to another episode with me today. What we're going to be doing here is working on the head. I want to go ahead and remove all of the valve train from the head today and get this thing ready to send off to the machine shop. So go ahead and stay tuned and we'll get right into this. Alright, so you'll notice that the cams are out and most of the shims and buckets are out from my previous video when I had taken off the head. Well, I left one shim and bucket in here to go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to remove those. Now, you do want to go ahead and grab yourself some baggies and write intake and exhaust on them. This is where you'll separate your intake and exhaust shims and buckets. And you also want to go ahead and write which location they came out of. Now the head is machined properly for each one of these buckets to fit in there. So you don't want to mix and match where these went. So you always want to put these in the same spot that you took them out. Normally we'd be using a tool to take these off which looks like this. It is a keeper removal tool. It's magnetic on the inside here so when you hit it the keepers fall inside. The way it works is you put this on top of the retainers, you hit it with your hammer and once it goes down the keepers fall inside there. Again they're magnetic so parts don't go everywhere. Fortunately I can't use this today. The outside diameter is too large for this style head. If I were to hit it, it would gouge up the sides of these here, making it almost impossible to get the shims and buckets on. So unfortunately, we can't use this tool today. However, there are alternative tools that you can use. We'll be using a socket today, a hammer, and a magnet to fish out those keepers. Now, you're going to want to get a baggie and write keepers on it, because you're going to want a place to store all these keepers. So it's very simple, you're going to put the socket on top, you're just going to give it a whack. You'll notice the keepers came off the valves there. You'll take your magnet and go ahead and fish out those keepers. Go ahead and put your keepers in that baggie that you have to keep them in a safe spot. Fish out those retainers and springs and keep them in a safe place. These do not need to go back in the same order that they came out of. Just go ahead and put them aside and save them for later. Another thing you want to grab is a piece of cardboard. You're going to want to write front and back on it, exhaust and intake. This is where you're going to place all the valves that you take off on each side. These valves do need to go back in the same order you took them out, so go in and place them from front to back. Here you can see I just pushed on it and popped it out right from the back. Since this is exhaust, it's the front, the first one. I'm going to put it under exhaust and that would be the first one there. You want to go and just line them all up whenever you take them out. And we'll go ahead and continue removing the rest of them. Alright, now that we've got those off, we'll go ahead and lift up this head, tilt it on its side so we can push out these valves. It's very simple, you just push on the top of the valve and it'll pop right down. Pull it out and make sure to place that in line on your piece of cardboard so you know which area it came out of. Again, push on the top, pull it out. Easy as that, we'll go ahead and take all these out and then we'll go ahead and move on to the next side.
All right, so next up we'll be removing the valve stem seals. Very easy to do this, we'll be using our valve stem seal pliers. What you want to do is go ahead and put these down in there. You'll squeeze on the valve stem seal, kind of shake it, wiggle it, and pull up at the same time. It's a little difficult, go ahead and try it again. Bam, there we are. Toss these things. Again, I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. Squeeze, twist, and pull up, and it should pop right out. Lastly, we're going to be removing the spring seats from inside of the head. What you want to use is a magnet to get down in there. Once it touches that uh, seat, it'll go ahead and magnetize it and bring it right up. Unfortunately, my magnet broke, so you'll see me using pliers, needle nose pliers holding on to the magnet. Now that we've got the entire valve chain removed from the head, technically you can go ahead and drop this off at the machine shop to be taken care of. However, some shops will require you to move the exhaust studs and intake studs from the head. So that's the only thing that you'd be left to do is go ahead and remove those from the head and we're all good to go. Thanks again guys, really appreciate you watching this with me and doing this. Uh, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be uploading more videos and thank you again.